Honestly, I think Genesis is too slow for draft. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to take the Changeling Outcast, pick one, pack one. And I'm going to maybe try to do some, uh, what do you call it, ninja shenanigans. Hey, Cogna, what? For the win! I think the Outcast might just be the second best card in this pack anyways. Crazy man, first picks. 1-1 one, one unblockable for one over Genesis. More news at 11. I did watch the episode last night, actually. Uh, okay, well, this doesn't really have a pick for the... I guess, I mean, I can take the Phantom Ninja if I want here, but... This is probably a better scenario to just stay open and maybe take a better card. Swipe, Tusker. But, I'm sticking with my plan. I'm trying this out. That's right, Freya. I'm trying it out, cat. And rewarded with a Crypt Rats? Nope, I'm not doing Phantom. Stop doing Phantom now. Apparently if you have like a 60% win rate, better to do these ones. What about Exclude? Exclude's very good. I don't think it's as good as Crypt Rats. Arkham's Astrolabe. So we have a Slug here, and a Smoke Shaper, and a Smoke Shroud. I think Slug might be better here. You should be able to pick up the Smoke Shrouds later on, I feel like. How many tickets do I think I net a year? I have no idea one way or the other. <laughs> uh, I've been infinite for a long time, but... I don't know. I have no idea how much my... I need to go check one of those sites and see how much my collection's worth again. Last time I checked it was like 4 or 5k or something. No, 3, 4k? Just based off cards. Slug or string. Let's go for a slug number 2. I think I actually like taking Ikeite here as just another early evasive creature to... Uh, to enable some ninjutsus, although I don't have any ninjas right yet. Right yet. They probably are. I have never tried to do that though. I imagine technically you could write some sort of them off. All right, this time I'm not going to take a third slug. I think I'm just going to take the smoke shaper here. String and wind color even both fine as well. Pondering mage. Again, I'm going to try the super low to the ground strategy that just bounces and taps down all my opponent's stuff. So even though Pondering Mage is, yes, a better card, this is the, this is the style I'm going to go for. Am I ever going to play this triple blue card? Unlikely. Is it worth thing? Probably not. 50 cents. All right, we'll take spell stuff for the sideboard. Axe or Ransack? Bad. Ah, perfect. Wield the Shroud. Wield the other string. Nice. I'm probably playing all of these cards so far. I just need to find all of the, like, the Moonblade Shinobis and stuff, and we'll be good to go. <sighs> Again, I'm sure they could be technically, but the fact that I haven't actually put money into the system in so long, you know, since I'm just using tickets and whatnot... Hard to say. Ooh, playable last pick. Mark down your calendars, ladies and gentlemen. July 20th, August 3rd, September 7th, and September 21st, we got some Mox prelims to play in. Hopefully I can requalify for next year's Mox. Oh, as if it was meant to be. So I don't have any Fairy Seers, but... Oh, the first two or three years I played Magic Online, I was spewing for sure. I put in two or three thousand easily. Easily. I'm gonna go with the Twisted Reflection here for removal over the Grave Shifter. I have Bounce right now, but I don't have, like, removal, so I think the Reflection here is a better choice. Uh, let's take Phantom Ninja. 
I started playing Magic Online in like 2007, and I was working part time while I was going to school, and most of my part time money there was going into like Magic Online. Mob, that's great. Smoke Shroud wield last time, as did String and Ransack, so I would not be surprised to get one of these back. It's the Fairy Seers I'm looking for right now. And I guess... Or Ninjas, as I only have two to get two in. You missed the rest of... Yeah, I opened... Or, I opened. I uh, got a War Travelers off of F. One of the best boots in the game. Best MF boots, anyways, for sure. There we go, another ninja. Sinkhole, Scour, Ponder. Nice, there's our Furious here. What we're looking for. Definitely need more one drops. Currently only have the Seer and the Changeling. I mean, having this many good evasive twos is not bad, right? I have two slugs and the eye kite, but still would like some more for sure. How many ninjutsu cards is good? I'm not actually sure. I haven't drafted ninjas before, which is crazy to think, but between all of the sealed that I did in practice uh, for last week, I just really never drafted it. <laughs> oh, easy unearth here. I guess Spectre's fine. Smoke Shroud on the wheel. Something like Amorphous Axe probably isn't terrible here either. Three Phantom Ninjas. I probably don't want like the Head the Spectre. Yeah, we, we did wheel them. I don't need three strings, do I? Probably not. Probably don't even need two on Earth. I haven't taken a non-black or blue card yet. <laughs> no! I had to say something. A good one. Double black is a little bit weird. I think I'm actually going to take Watcher here. Better mob. Eh, I should probably just take mob. Need some more removal. I'll take another mob. You ever ninja a skeletal? Can't say I have. Smoke Shaper number two. Man, haven't seen any of the Shinobis. Not a good thing. More Blizzard's Trixes, though. Too many slugs is too many slugs. Short Seeker, Augur, another Smoke Shaper, Eye Kite, Putrid Goblin. Yeah, Throat Seeker with Triple Phantom Ninja can't be bad. What is my most recent commander? Um, might be Nekazar. Might be Nekazar. There's no exclude too. Jeez. Well, I don't need three smoke shrouds. I already have another unearth in my sideboard. I don't know if this deck is good or not. Can I get away with sixteen lands? Probably. Seems like Crypt Rats is just one of those cards that's too hard to cut, though. It's, like, just too good. Even if it kills a lot of my stuff. I don't think I have room for Scour. Weird. I would never cut Scour from, like, a sealed deck, but... See, not playing it in draft here. I kite, too. I don't think they have single limb drafts for this format, do they? A lot of the formats just don't even have single limbs anymore. Like, I'll still play single limbs when M20 comes out for this format. For example, right? That or I'll be drafting it on uh, Arena. Okay. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, maybe I just cut the Crypt Rat. And 
Go for 16 lands here. I think that's probably a fine play. Go 9-7. Nine, 9-7. Si nine, yeah, I'm going to go 9-7. Just a fire. I think we're on that borderline point where getting rid of, uh, getting away with 16 lands is okay. Huh. It's a lot of land. So that's very concerning. There was almost certainly like another um, ninja drafter, right? We saw no shinobis. Maybe they just weren't opened very often. Wow. Come on. Kept a five lander in my 16 land deck. Holy moly. We're almost at uh, half the lands in our deck. In our... There are still single limb leagues, though. We have Firebolt or Lava Dart. Very good draw. Well, not a very good draw, but it was a fine draw. Uh-oh, Kess? Hmm. Well, Crypt Rats would have been good versus them for sure. It's my best draw. Maybe just the 6 3. Uh, not today, mob. There was no way I was twisting the slug there, right? <laughs> if I remember correctly, this works from what chat told me last time. Because of the layering. Good, good. Pretty good. Uh, there's no use ninjutsuing out here. I might as well just get extra damage in. Like for some reason because the 1-1 one, one counter or something. I don't know. Layers, man. How do they work? Another war party. Oh, one of the cards in their hand is just the freaking alpine dude. Oh, because the smoke shaper didn't attack instead. Oh, right. I was so caught up with the uh, the fact that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I was so caught up with the fact that uh, that I was only evolving one side their way. Whoops. You're 100 percent right, chat. Hopefully, they don't have another mob. Oh no, they targeted their own dude. Oh, that's such a bad misclick. Oh my, that sucks. There's like nothing you can do about that either. It's not like I'm gonna concede because they did that because I could still win, but that sucks. We've all been there before, misclicks. That's something that only happens online, right? It's not like you're playing a match of magic in paper. You're at, you're at a Grand Prix and you're like, oppo opponent's like, uh, sinkle my token. Wait, what? It's just unfortunate misclick. Mm. 
Looks like I might just want some more slugs. Versus red black. Any sleeves? No sleeves today. Not with draft one. I got a Diablo sleeve. I got War Travelers. 48% magic find. Super hype about that. OP on a mulligan to five. They mulligan so that they would uh, have Hellbent faster. This is probably going to be a pretty good next turn. I got a feeling. The rice man cometh. Thanks for the 10 months. <sighs> ah, skeep, skeep. Thanks for the seven months. <laughs> How many careers have we ended today? I'm about to end this fool's career. Seems like it's working. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. What? All my miss syndicates. Gone. Gone forever. I'm about to end this fool's career. It's a tempting trade for sure. All right, actually, I don't even need to do that if they haven't done anything. Let's go to attacks. They might have their sinkhole. They might have mob. They might sack their own pashalik. Do 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 do. All right, and now with Pashi gone, we can kind of just dump out our hand. Slug, we'll keep the string. Go ahead and just shroud up my dude right now. Oh yeah, Magic Online has way too many cards and different interactions for arena capabilities. As a full-time programmer, I can speak with these things. Or I can speak to these things with much authority. Yes, 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 but are you a programmer on my level? Probably not. All right. Hands looking fine. I have three of our seven swamps, though. Doot, doot, doot. Red green winding way. Did they hit? They hit. One card. Nice. Only a draw one. Success. Mob, mob, ninja, new moon. I think I'm probably going to want to spill here. I led with watcher over slug. Hopefully, I don't get punished. Oh. But disease. I mean, I think they're going to trade, but. Yeah, Watcher's great. Oh, is this a wizard, too? Oh, it is. Human wizard. You know. Jeez, the value!
I guess I'm just going to unearth my uh, watcher right now. What? Why do you need an adult? What did the opponent do? Nothing? Great. So we'll slug into ninja. Ass holding up mob. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Get the frickin' 40... Actually, how much is this worth now? It was 40, what, 5 yesterday? It's up to 50? Oh, man. I'm ever surprised by sweet interactions. Uh, Usually, if I'm... If I'm surprised by sweet interaction, it's within the first, like, week or two of a, of a format. At this point, no. I don't think there's anything too surprising. I assume that they have a... Uh, that they have a sinkhole in their hand, so I'm going to attack the Ren and Six with multiple creatures here. When it sells five cards in their hand, um, yeah. All right, as expected, they did have a sinkhole. It's just the way that they were playing made me really think that they had it. I'm not gonna save my slug. There's no point to when I have no other creatures. Wow, they're going to go greed style. Oh, I like it. Okay. Well, that might have just cost them the game here, because now I can bounce the spider instead. I was going to bounce the elephant, but now I'm going to bounce the spider, then kill the mob, or kill the guide with mob. Oh, this also works fantastic. Never mind, we can do this now. <laughs> Wait, what? We have another one and I'm getting bamboozled? Pass priority! Oh! Oh! Oh, they... No, they can't flash it back. They can't flash it back. Because it's, it's, it's still on the stack. It's not in their graveyard. So I ninjutsu give this one indestructible. These. That was worthy of sacks. They're gonna go bigger than I am, though. I think we should be okay. Okay, it's like a pretty good hand. I think this time I will lead with slug. Bimbly bimbly. Oh! oh! This is going to be a good next turn. I can make the slug a 2-5 already. It didn't show me Firebolt. Oh, they're scared. Are you really going to double block? Uh, no, I guess that would make sense, yeah. So the reason they don't want to uh, attack there is because I could just attack for zero and then ninjutsu something in. No, it makes sense why that they didn't attack that turn. And you're rid? So what I think I'm going to do here is smoke shroud my watcher. Attack with both. Ninjutsu in off of the Watcher, get flying again, and evolve. Synergy! Oh! Did 
They should have really cast something pre-combat if they needed to use all of their mana up. Because now I... <laughs> now they might have just got got. Well, remember, Alpine Guide has to attack, but... If they, if they have like a 4 or 5 mana spell and they needed to tap out for it, now they get wrecked. That card would be way too good if they didn't have that kind of flaws. Just a 3 mana 3-3 three, three that ramps you in red. Lava Dart to kill the Changeling. Okay. I mean, it looks like they had enough stuff to do with their manas. Put them on a two turn clock here, right? Oh! I'm stupid. This can still block the other one. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that at all. That was bad. For some reason, I thought they both had menace. I could lose this game if they get to Hellbent here, or not Hellbent, if they get to sh Threshold here. No, baby, what you doing? I'm about to end this fool's career. Mistakes were made. I like the play of Smoke Shrouding there. I do not like the play of using my Twisted. Using the Twisted was really bad. What I should have done is just Smoke Shroud attack for 8. They probably just chump one like they did, and then I play the Phantom Ninja out and still have my removal spell for the following turn. Dude, Hex Drinker's whatever. It's not like that card is good. Yo, Isaac, thanks for the 11 months. I did. Starting yesterday, I moved over to the non-Phantom. People are saying if you have a 60% win rate or better, you should. it's better EV to play these. Ah! Ah! Well, Smokey's not great, but... I assume I'm well over 60%. I have not kept track. I haven't done it in like two or three sets. What was the last set that I kept track? Dom? It's like Dom was the last set I kept track of. If we really wanted to, I could just go count all of the games. Starting at... CQ. Oh. Starting here, I could just count, but that would be that would be a lot of no. It's too much. <laughs> take too much time. I actually haven't used CC cleaner or C cleaner in ages. I don't know why I still have it. <clears throat> Updated last year or something, and I haven't used it since then. The Gardener, is the 20 months. No, that, that's going to take way too long. I know you can sort of by format, but like the last two weeks I have literally been doing nothing but Modern Horizons. It's just, just going to, it would take a long time to sort through how many matches I've played. I've never been 2000 rating. I have been very close multiple times. Actually, we were. I was like 1940 peak in this format in sealed. Can you export it? I don't auto save my. Oh no, wait, that's a different thing. I don't know if you can export it somehow. Oh god, why did I click on that? No, why did I click on a filter? Oh, that was the worst filter to click on. That was all of my opponents. <laughs> Let's make top five limited sets of all time. It's... If not top five, it's pretty close. I've been enjoying this a lot.
Yeah, you can't highlight like you can with deck builder either. Do I prefer draft or sealed? I think I've always preferred sealed a little bit more to draft, just regardless of format. I'm not sure why. I think I'm just going to double I here. We're just going to get run over if I don't draw with some lands. I beat the Mons last time. Oh boy. I'm absolutely fine with them trading their bow garden for my smoke shaper here. Little Pashy. They can attack if they want, right? It's a trade. Honestly, all I would need is like one way to draw an extra card. But I don't have many in the deck. Flying unblockable. What a combo! But yeah, if I get to hit him for six even once with the double eye kite. Oof. Woof daddy. Hey, Severo, thank you for the 16 months. Force of Despair. Really need to draw a ninja next turn. Oh, and that's the game. Ashlick plus Slinging Lieutenant is such a good combo. I've had this combo a few times. The very first time was actually at the pre pre release, but yeah. Machine the gun! Oh wow, they didn't even sack the other goblins. They, so they're not killing my Ikite here. Wait, what? They just mess up? Doesn't make sense, because the file would already have killed it. I think they messed up. I think they me meant to sack some tokens first. Woof, we might have got lucky. I think what I need to draw here is, I guess probably just like another mob. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can hit me for nine this turn if I don't block. Because they can sack their goblins, the sling gang lieutenant, drain me for three. And that would also pump their Silumgar to a six. Oh, you do have a defile. What the fuck is going on? Oh, can you really? Did they did they change it? We go to format. Oh my god, I have to click off of all of these. This is still kind of time consuming. Wait, where does it say how many of a specific format now? It doesn't give me a number of the number. Oh wait, there we go. 85 and 185. So I've done 185 matches of sealed. Then go to results and it tells you. Where's results? Aha. Wait, that. That can't be the correct format. I'm so close to winning. I just need to fade a removal spell. I don't think I get in for enough damage that way. Holy moly. 
Holy guacamole. Thanks. I don't... This result is almost... There's no way it can be from the... Uh, from just Modern Horizons, so... Five, three, six. That's the matches. Uh, so forty, eighty-four. This is not accounting for the thirteen draws. No, why did I click on name again? <laughs> Unclick it. Right. Yeah, I know that. You know what I should have done? It'll save a little bit of time, but just go to the go to that tab again, see how many total matches of Modern Horizons I played. It was like 250 or something, right? Uh, and then just count the wins or the losses. Extrapolate from there. But even still, that takes a lot of time. I would still have to go through the entirety of the list on attack. Right, it was to like 250 or something. Oh yeah, 270. Uh, yeah, 270. The problem is this can die very, very easily. They don't have removal. If they have removal, then these are just both dying this turn. Well, maybe we'll just do it for science's science sake then, huh? Look how much more of the spark in comparison I played. That should tell you something. Oh, I should have blocked! No, wait, they can't kill both. Oh, no, wait, I only have one smoke shroud, though. Yeah, these are both dying. I should have 100% blocked that. Shoot. That's also fair. Almost the entirety of my War of the Spark was played on Arena. Look at that M19 draft. Holy crap, 244. 489 vintage cubes. And I'm 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 positive that's not in, all encompassing either. This is only on this computer. This is only on this computer. Remember, I can't smoke on the real Naga. They sacrifice a goblin in response and then ping. That also would make sense. M nineteen was before the arena. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't have to scroll as much here. So let's I guess count the losses. So it was 270 matches played of this format, Modern Horizons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, n. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, one. Mauler. 16 losses so far on Mauler. Oh, you can filter out the wins? Wait, result. Oh, right, right, right. Aha! There we go. Now we can just count how many of these there are. And that'll be the number of losses I have. That match losses out of 270. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Thirty. So JMTron is at thirty, and it's thirty a page. So sixty on Jim Nightshade. Sixty. Sixty Jim Nightshade. Uh, ninety. Ninety-one. Ninety-two. Ninety-three. Okay. And it was at a. Was that a two seventy? Right? I think that was it. Did I miss one? 
One was a premium event. Gotcha. Okay. So close to 66%. Not bad. The vast majority of that being sealed. There are no intentional draws on Magic Online. Wow, they just have it again. <laughs> I don't think I'm winning this one, though. Uh, they have Vengeful Devil and Sling Gang Lieutenant, so they can sacrifice one of their goblin tokens, drain for one, and then... Uh, and then ping. Remember the days of split and play for the QP? I do. Those are the good old days. In 8-4 drafts. Right, but presumably if they have a way to kill my Syndicate Naga. Or at least the ways that we've seen from them that are repeatable. So even unearthing it back is not going to do too much work. I don't know if I'm... Like, all of their creatures come down pretty early. I don't know how... I don't know if I'm going to be holding up mana for exclude. Our deck taps out quite a bit. Whenever we're, like, ninjutsuing out. I'm usually recasting a creature the same turn or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the record thing anymore. We got what we came for. Charm can kill the Sling Gang, but it doesn't... I mean, I guess it also kills the Devil. I guess I should have brought it in. I'm going to say it doesn't kill Pashy. You can use your QPs on July 20th, August 3rd, September 7th, September 21st. And I think there's one before July 20th. Those are just the ones that I wrote down that I'll be hopefully participating in. Those are all Mox prelims. Oh, did the opponent mulligan? I didn't even notice. Guess we'll take the one non-land card. Having three lands on the bottom is nice. Five, six, seven. So we've already seen about half of our lands. Uh, they po the, If you go onto the Magic Online Twitter, they posted yesterday uh, an updated sheet with all of the Mox stuff. Devil again, huh? Oh, they attack this time. Turn three, Pashalik. Turn four, Slinging Lieutenant. <laughs> we cycle on Earth. So I assume they dug for land and hit it. With that play. What if they trade here? Again, if I had a way to, man, draw an extra card, hitting them for six in the air would just be, like, game. Oh! We can draw an extra card next turn with the Unearth, then potentially hit him for eight. Oof, we saw three lands go on the bottom with the Watcher, too. Kind of sucks. Man, you can't have it every time. Might as well ping me for one, yeah. I think that's one off lethal. And that will be lethal the following turn. Perfect. All right. Got him. Got him. Correct. Again, the, the dates that I listed are just for the limited events, the sealed prelims, box prelims. July 20th will be the uh, M20. August 3rd, September 7th, September 21st. Oh, no, smiting Elix. Wait, they're still dead. Got him. First draft of the day. 3-0. Feels good. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh.